Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. For this video, I will show you guys how I made Violet Tchotchke from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 7. So Violet Tchotchke is actually the winner of season 7 of RuPaul's Drag Race and she is so amazing and I love everything that she does. I love all of her looks and I love all of her makeup. So for this doll I'm going to draw inspiration from the Death Becomes Her runway where she was sporting an 18 inch waist I believe. But for her makeup I'm going to draw inspiration from the leather and lace challenge that she did. So I'm actually going to be doing a hybrid of Barbie and also Belle from Hasbro. The Barbie that I chose was a made to move because I want to give her articulation. For Violet Tchotchke, she actually does have blonde hair. So I'm going to be taking off all of her head for the reroute that we're going to do for the first time. Well, for me at least. And then after that, I'm going to take acetone to remove her face, the usual, and also the hairline. For the rerouting tool and also the hair chunks that I got here, I got them from dollyhair.com and I will link them down below. And this one was in medium length which I thought it was going to be enough, but it's actually not long enough. So I had to do this old method where I pretty much made, um, what do you call this, like knots? And then I pretty much sew it inside her head like this. Um, it was, re it took... A long time you guys like it took so long and I didn't realize that the hair was really really like platinum so I had to use my own wigs as you can see over here to give her more of the blonde look so after that I actually just boil washed her head to kind of lay it flat so I can see how it looks and surprisingly my blonde wig matches her really really well and the hair quality is pretty good so I'm not complaining about it the next is obviously we're going to give her Violet Tchotchke's face. If you guys didn't know, Violet is actually inspired by drawings of women. Her drag is to look like a drawing of a woman, not really to look like a woman. So this is her perception and that's kind of how I approach this repaint. I want it to look like how I envision Violet to look with her um, signature red lips her signature um, beauty marks and all of that and so that's kind of like the inspiration that I drew from. I know that her makeup in the Death Becomes Her is actually really really pale and she looks sickly and she has nude lips but I thought that my take on this doll I want it to be a classic Violet Tchotchke look with the red lips, black and white um, eye color, eye makeup and her signature brows. Her brows I was actually going to turn black, but I decided to blend it with the hair. So I decided to go with the brown um, eyebrow color, which suits her really, really well, I think. So I am currently just doing all of the final touch-ups, like her beauty mark, and I'm also going over with paint to really give a sharp look. And then I also want to give her a highlight on her cheek, and for that I'm going to be using Jeffree Star. I know people were asking, but it actually kind of works for some reason, even after MSC. So Violet Tchotchke is actually known for her tiny, tiny waist. So I decided to cut this Barbie um, in half so we can give her that singed waist that she has. And I'm just using this wire over here to kind of help um, support the actual body and then I'm covering it with foil and then I'll be taking epoxy sculpt A and B to create that cinched waist that she has. I was really kind of drawing inspiration from the old Barbie dolls like the 1950s Barbie dolls but 
I just didn't like how they didn't have articulation and I think that's the reason why I really wanted to give this made to move Barbie the 1950s silhouette because I mean that is what Violet Tchotchke is all about anyway. So after I'm done, this is how it looks. It's pretty nice and I gave her literally an hourglass shape. And as you can see, she still has all of her articulations, which is really, really cool. And she can do more dynamic poses. After sanding it, I'm just going to give her the contour that she has on her chest. For her corset, I just decided to paint it black because I couldn't think of any other way. And I also didn't forget to give her tattoos of John Willy, um, a beetle I think, and there's also a safety pin, a skull, the Mattel logo, and also a poodle, I think. I think it's a poodle, yeah. And then I am just adding all of the details on her corset like the embellishments and also the ribbons and all of that. I added the ribbons here by the joints so that it doesn't scrape the joints when you move them. And then for her lace underwear, I just decided to glue it onto her as well. I also added um, ribbon here towards her back to kind of give the laced corset look just for added details and I'm also sewing this ribbon onto her stockings as well. For her top, I'm just going to be taking this lace that I glued onto a cardboard and pretty much make a bra for her and then after that I'm going to paint everything black just to match the entire corset look. You guys already know I love my red bottoms, so I took this Barbie shoe that I ordered from eBay and I'm just gonna paint the bottom red. And we are completely done with Violet Tchotchke and her garment. And um, it looks really good and I really really am proud of this look because it's, it's really really cute. <laughs> We are now going to work on her hair and try to style this messy messy curl that I did. And um, I'm actually surprised that the hair from the wig that I used held up really well. So that's awesome. From the pictures, Violet looks like she had a like kind of like a neck brace made out of jewels and gems so I'm just trying to recreate that with cardboard and also the pearls and I really wanted to go all out with her tank and oxygen mask so I really wanted to be accurate with her runway. So I tried to make a tank using a boba straw and also cardboard and skewers and paint and all that and hot glue gun, obviously. And I think it turned out quite well. 